What is going on? Dura Sticks here, and today we are going to take a look at the indoor speeder bike raid, show a few teams, uh, obviously with the changes because of the C3PO uh, nerf, uh, we are going to show you uh, some of the teams we used this last time uh, to see how we can cope with that, see how much we really lost. Uh, the last time we did the raid, we were able to hit 5 million, um, So, th and these are the teams we used. Uh, and you can see we did some, obviously, C-3PO in every single team and basically got quite a bit of uh, stuff done there. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with where we we're at. Uh, we have upgraded, since the last raid, we did upgrade Moff Gideon uh, to gear 12. Uh, so I definitely think we could get a little bit more than 5 million this go around. And uh, so this is, uh, here are the post nerf teams. Uh, we still got the 2.1-ish million. Uh, we can do 2.4 million. I haven't been able to get that comp just right uh, to do that. We tried it a couple times this time. But weren't able to get to the 2.4 million with the Piet Han Solo combo. Uh, the Wookiee uh, one there for 550k. We actually did 600k with that this time. I think I will bump C-3PO to at least Relic 5 for the next time and get uh, the next tier for that one going. Uh, we actually did, uh, since we lost C-3PO, we put Stark, Veers, and uh, Lando Calrissian in a team, uh, and that actually got us 735k, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we did get a little bit uh, more than that. Gear 12, Moff Gideon with Ewok Elder and Akbar actually got us 400,000 uh, this time. Um, that is definitely uh, Ewok Elder and admiral akbar it definitely two that i would look at and then with moth moth getting in there uh really did a lot of work you get that evasive maneuvers going really fast and uh, moth getting can just start knocking people out uh it worked really really well again next one chief chirpa uh really the key to this team with ranged trooper both of those evasive maneuver uh, Jedi Knight Luke doesn't do a lot in this combo other than be getting uh, the stacks of evasive on him, so it makes Range Trooper a little more powerful. Uh, I did try it without um, another one in there, and it uh, did a little bit worse, so I did end up throwing a Rebel in there. Uh, you could throw, you can see some of the other teams we were using, uh, Hera, uh, Poplo, Paplo, uh, Paplu, uh, you can uh, throw that in there. Uh, Iron University, that's a pretty solid team. Really low gear as well to get 260k. Uh, and then we've got a couple of junk teams here. I just threw what I had left, and they were able to get 100 to 144k uh, each. Uh, so you can see low gray, Death Trooper, Magna Trooper. Uh, honestly, these are really low gear. And the Wicket Wedge Stormtrooper, kind of the same deal. Like, we're not doing a ton of stuff with these, but to be able to get, a, a, you know, 150K from some low-end teams, that's really what you want to be trying to do if you're trying to build up. I would say, uh, whatever you got the last time, try to build some better teams. I know some people are using bots, stuff to try to figure out what teams to put together, and what I've seen from those is it's not doing optimal moves, not putting optimal teams together. Um, really, you want... Um, uh, if you're looking for low gear options, I mean, Moff Gideon, um, and then uh, throw in Ewok Elder, Chief Chirpa, either one of those you should have built up if you're doing C-3PO anyways. Uh, Admiral Akbar is a really good one. I like Aiden uh, as in the leader slot. Hera, also pretty good. Both of her moves do give you evasion stacks on uh, Hera at least, and so it does build up. It's just not as fast as Evasive Maneuver. Uh, by itself so because evasive maneuver puts four stacks on every everybody and so that adds up really quickly especially if you have a couple of them you get a few moves and then uh, if you look at um, Ewok Elder and Akbar both have hasty repairs as well and so that adds stacks just to themselves and repairs damage gives you a few extra points as well so it really does add up fairly quickly um, there. So that's what we were able to get. We are at 4.7 million uh, on this uh, time around. So I will say uh, we were off just a little bit from what we did the last time. Uh, but honestly, only losing 300k over uh, where we were having to sub in some teams because we lost the 3PO for every team almost. So I think we that honestly 
uh, just goes to show C3PO was really good before the nerf, but he wasn't amazing. Uh, he was just, it was just nice to have that one character that you could slot in every team and take care of that evasive maneuver. So it's just finding those other characters um, that are necessary there and building these teams up. Um, I'm not going to show, well, I'm not going to show any uh, video this time around. Honestly, it is so, um, I'm almost saying nauseating, uh, but honestly, like these teams are pretty decent. Uh, so let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see me do more runs of indoor escalation. But honestly, these are the teams that I'm working on. Uh, we're going to try to get uh, some of these just up to gear 12 right now. Obviously, some of them are going to take some effort, some Kairos, stuff like that. Uh, I think we are going to uh, probably get, um, I, I want to get uh, Moff Gideon, Admiral Akbar, Range. I think those three for sure to Relic 3 at least. And then work on a few others. Hera is going to go to Relic 5 at some point. Aiden I like to get to Relic. Um, and then some of these other ones have to go up. Wedge has to go up. Wedge wasn't that great, but I mean, honestly, you just throw another Rebel in there. Sometimes it works just fine. So we're going to keep working on this. Uh, C-3PO definitely took five at some point, uh, and then seven eventually. So we may move Chewbacca up as well to seven, and maybe that'll make a really good team that we can make a good run at this raid at. But I'm pretty happy. 4.7 million. Um for where our account is. I think that is really solid. Uh, and right uh, when I'm making this video, let's go in and see if I'm still the top in our guild right now. Um, I was in the top slot, but it's pretty early on in the raid. So I expect, there you go. So I'm still the top spot by 10,000 points. Uh, there's definitely some bigger accounts that still have to go. We've got a ways to go still to get to the next um the 108 box so we'll see should be able to get there we've got it last time um so our goal is that 108 box right now and then be working towards to get up to 125 and 144 uh, are the other breakdowns there so i'd say uh if you can get early on in your account if you can get to 1 million um i think that's going to be pretty solid uh, if you can get that 800k box you're going to be getting quite a few rewards Honestly, those few teams that I showed you, even on the lower end, are getting 250 or so. I think those would be solid investments for anybody to get, and you're getting quite a bit of the rewards. Obviously, I've got to get uh, to that 4.8 is going to be my next goal for the next time we do this. We were very close. Fortunately, we are just a little bit off in this. Hopefully, this video helped you guys. If it did, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we are trying to push for 500 subscribers before the end of the year and when we do we're going to have a little celebration for that uh, so i'd appreciate it if you guys hit the subscribe button and as always thanks for watching